hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup i have some exciting products to try i have some products that have just been sitting in my drawer and i haven't tried so i'm gonna try it today and it's gonna be 100 percent drugstore affordable makeup so i hope you guys enjoy it um definitely give it a thumbs up if you do and without further ado let's just get right into the video so starting off with a primer i'm going to use both of these this one you guys have probably seen before um, in a recent video and then this one is the mattifying face primer from ulta beauty it says that it controls shine and blurs your pores i haven't used a anything pore like like pore feeling primer in so long so um this one claims to blur it out so i definitely want to try this today because i have a lot of pores in this area so we're gonna test this out it, it looks like this it's a little mini and i'm assuming you just i'm just rolling it on it's not a roller the applicator isn't a roller but kind of like can you see so it makes it easy to just like roll on and I kind of like that but a little too much maybe not just looking in the mirror it kind of looks like it blurred it a little bit hmm For sure. Okay, so now I'm just gonna spray my face down with this Mario Badescu spray. Feels so refreshing. So while we let that kind of sit and work into our skin, uh, I'm going to read a little bit about the foundation that we're gonna be trying. And this is the Revolution or Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Looks like this, and mine is in the shade 10.5. I told you guys before I ordered this offline and I was so scared but I just looked today and they have this foundation now in Ulta they don't have all the shades in Ulta some of them you do have to get online I know the shade that I purchased um, is definitely online only but I believe they do have a few shades in store I also picked up the Makeup Revolution London stick foundation and I got this in a f13 it's a little looks a little darker um, so either A, if I need to darken this foundation, I'll probably use this, or B, use this just to contour, cream contour. So we'll see how we'll use that, but we're first going to go in with this foundation right here. Really, really excited to try this because it's, I feel like it's, there's not very many options, um, at least for me, for oily skin people, and this also claims to be for all skin types as well, so... We are definitely going to try this if I could just open it okay so now that we got the wrapper off um, I do want to say that this foundation is vegan it's paraben free oil free and it is cruelty free so if you guys are into anything like that then definitely check this foundation out this is not a review on this so we're just gonna go ahead and apply now I'm kind of scared because it looks a little light I don't know if it oxidizes or not but that's something we will see it is already starting to mattify on my face I can see it not like super matte but it is drying down to more of a matte finish and it is looking like this foundation just might be a little too light so I do feel like this foundation is a little too light so I am going to try and go in with this stick foundation in F13 and see if I can just blend it just a little bit. That way it matches my skin tone a little better. I don't know. Let's see if this works. I kind of feel like I need a brush for this because it's just not cooperating with the sponge.
I definitely feel like mixing this 10.5 with the F13 and the stick foundation definitely made the shade match me 10 times better. And I'm much happier with it like this versus just leaving it with this. Um, I guess it's official, guys. Like, I just suck at purchasing foundation online. Like, that's just something I'm just not going to do anymore. I can't. Um, but at the end of the day everything worked out great for my brows which clearly are not done i'm going to use this l'oreal brow stylist definer it's a really thin pencil and it has a spoolie on the other end this reminds me so much of the anastasia brow pencil um and i love that pencil so i'm going to use this for my brows typically i use the pomade but it, since this is all drugstore, we're just going to go in with the pencil only. For concealer today, I brought out two. I might not use both. There goes that. Um, I have the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. And I also have the newest addition to my drugstore collection of concealers. Um, which is the Lasting Finish Breathable by Rimmel Concealer. Um, and this one's more like a highlighting effect. This one is more my skin tone, uh, not to really, not too brightening. So I'm going to go in with this one first and then I may dabble into this one just a little bit. So let's apply uh, this under my eye area. And I just like to do like a little triangle. So, and then I think I am going to just add a little bit of this one. I haven't used this one in so long. But I'm just going to put it under my eyes only. And then I'm going to take the Morphe sponge and I'm going to blend that in. For powder, there are two options. The Rimmel Stay Matte, which is my fave of all time. And then the recently purchased or... The newest addition to the family not that i got it yesterday but the newest powder that i own drugstore wise is this airspun powder and it's also a really good powder so today i am going to go in with the airspun to set underneath my eyes and then i'll use the stay matte to set the rest of my face so using still the beauty sponge dip into that powder and just dab it on underneath my eyes and it smells really good it has a really nice scent to it if you guys don't like anything with scent then you wouldn't like this one but it smells amazing to me and we're not baking and then i'm just going to take the same matte powder take a brush dip into that and then just lightly set the rest of my face I know homecoming is coming up. Hopefully I'm not too late when I drop this video. So we're going to try and create like a homecoming look. Um, but I have this CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette that I have not touched ever. But it is a really beautiful palette. And then I have this Milani Soft and Sultry eyeshadow palette. Which is one of like I think four different palettes that they have now. And I'm really excited to use this. But I think I'm going to go in with this one because I really wanted to use this for my Instagram followers uh, pick my makeup. Um, I'll have the video linked up there. I think I want to create a look based off of these shadows right here. And it's a very beautiful palette. It has some nice shimmer shades in it. Um, some neutral tones. So I think this is what we're going to go with. And I am going to first grab this a light this doesn't have a um, name so i'm gonna grab this one right here which is like this light neutral brown shade and i'm going to put that in my crease now that we have that shade down i'm gonna next grab this darker brown shade in here and i'm going to um, put that all over So I am taking this up quite a bit and just blending it out. 
Okay, so we built that color up quite a bit um, on my lids and it, it's a really pretty brown. There isn't any fallout when I'm applying these shadows to my lid. There is some kick up in the pan and if you're someone who does not like that, then you're not going to like it, but I don't, it does not bother me at all. Having that more golden shade in here. Pack it on my brush and then I'm going to, basically I'm putting it on my entire lid. Not in my crease, just in my lid. And now I'm going to go back into that same blending brush, take that darker brown that we used and then kind of diffuse it a little bit. I'm not on my lid, I'm in my crease. Go back into the gold. Add that on top. It's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. And then blend it again. I still feel like I need a little, still something, a little extra. So I want to use a individual shadow that I also haven't used before, but it looked really pretty. So this is the Infallible Paints Metallics. This is in 402 Brass Knuckles, and it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm placing this right on top of everything else. It's making a little difference. I'm just gonna powder contour today. And I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match. It is a, um, just a compact powder and it's in the shade C7, that brown. So as you can see, I hit pan already. For my mascara, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I feel like I sounded weird saying that, but this mascara reminds me so much of the Better Than Sex mascara. So this is what we're gonna go in with today. So we're gonna finish up the under eye and we're just going to take that brown shade that we used before, the darker one, um, and ooh, got it on my cheek. Didn't mean to do that, I'll clean that up in a second. But we're gonna put it on our lower lash line before we apply bottom lash mascara. And if I haven't said this before, which I think I did, but I'm gonna say it again, I feel like smoking out my bottom lash line completes the look a lot better. Like just look how much better this eye look versus this eye look. It just really makes a world of a difference to me. And I will continue doing it. Even if you don't like smoke it out, smoke it out. Just adding a little bit, just a little bit of color makes a world of a difference. So now moving on to inner corner highlight, I'm going to take that same palette again and I'm going to take the lightest shimmery shade in the palette, which is this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm going to pop that in my inner tear duct to kind of like highlight my inner corner. Just a little bit, you know? And then for highlighter, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in 321B Precious Metals. And it's really stunning in the pan. So hopefully it's this stunning on my face. Um, so I'm just going to apply that as I would always do. And apply it. Oh, this is really pretty. definitely making me glow and then for blush I'm going to use this NYX ombre blush in mauve me and it's kind of like this purpley pink double toned blush and whoa whoa okay there goes that one second it's really really pretty I really love this blush this isn't new 
Um, this is one of the very few blushes that I own. Because I'm not crazy about blush. I mean, I wasn't. But I feel like nowadays I'm just getting more into blush. And I really like it now. And I like to put a little bit on that on my nose. And that's that. And I'm going to spray our face down again with some of this. So now for the lip, I'm going to use potentially both of these. This is the Ulta Matte Lip Cream in Elusive. This is like a purple. But if I need to add a little bit of brown into it, then I'll use this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Club Hopper. So I'm going to apply that and my liner and some bottom lash mascara and then I'll be back for the finished look. So this is the lip. What I ended up doing was using both of them, like I said. Um, I felt like it needed more of a brown tone versus a purple tone, but I really like the way that the suede lip looks on top of the purple. I felt like it helped darken it just a little bit more and it's just so beautiful, so matte. Um, I love it. Um, this brings us to the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and I would love to do more drugstore uh, geared videos. Um, I kind of want to start a series so if you're interested in something like that definitely let me know down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and all my social media which is down below and I don't have anything else to say other than I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video or vlog whichever one comes first but until next time I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.